Hey guys, Dr. Davin Lim, Board Certified Laser Dermatologist. Um, today's video will be, once again, at-home devices and uh, do they work. If you missed out on last week's $10 kits for at-home skin needling, uh, check it out. Today we're going to the extremities. So we've got, I've done uh, several DIYs in the past, including skin needling. Uh, I've done glycolic acid peels, so make sure you check out that video. But today we're going from the extreme. <laughs> From a ten from a ten dollar uh, budget at home device to a seven thousand dollar. So this is uh, Australian dollars. So it's nearly seven thousand Australian dollars, and it's called the Perfectio Plus Limited Edition by Zero Gravity. Does it work? Um, I don't know. Hang tight, guys, because the new face one is coming up soon as well. So I've got to do these device testing. Uh, within the limits of science and not marketing. So first of all, uh, no conflict of interest. Uh, I'm not paid to do this review uh, and um, this device uh, I don't keep. The company gets it back. So it's very, very clear that it's just me uh, doing testing and actually to see whether it works or it doesn't. Now it is literally fresh out of the packet. I read the instructions, went through the manual, uh, very easy to turn on. It's an FDA approved device and it's designed to treat uh, pores, skin clarity, so it helps with the melanin, in other words, pigmentation, uh, stimulates collagen and decreases wrinkles. So that's the whole idea with this. And how does it work? It works by light emitting diodes or LEDs. Um, there's another fancy term for it, it's called LLL LED, low level laser emitting devices and you've got we've got lots of that so I'll show you this and I'll show you this so the at home one compared to how we use LLL LEDs in our practice so with this let's go through the science it basically gives two wavelengths um, one in the um, 600 nanometer wavelength which is a red wavelength and the other past 700 which is the IR infrared so two wavelengths and it works by hitting the skin up to 107 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, not Celsius, obviously. Um, so it, that's how it works by, okay? And it works by stimulating blood flow. And with that stimulation of blood flow, it stimulates collagen as well. So the wavelengths um, go down to both your uh, dermal layer and in theory, uh, three to four millimeters down all the way, hopefully, down into your um, deeper layers of the hypodermis, HYPO, hypodermis of your skin. And over time, it's supposed to stimulate collagen. Now, the results from this have shown that it is that easy. You're supposed to actually use this for three to four minutes on your cheeks, uh, three to four minutes on your forehead, three times a week, only for four weeks. And you're supposed to get results from that and then maintain it uh, once to twice a month. It sounds unbelievably good to be true. I mean, it's just, you know, we've never heard of an at-home device which can do that. Um, but the studies have shown in their studies, so this is once again not independent studies, and that's what this channel is for, it's an independent review. In their studies, they've shown that um, within a week, 91% of their um, uh, study population uh, noticed a change, and 10% of which had an improvement. But the big thing was that what was the change and what was the improvement? And believe it or not, at seven weeks, 100% of the patient's trial had an outcome. In other words, had a positive outcome, had a satisfaction rate of 100%. The big question is, and this is where it's controversial, if you had to pay $7,000 for this, would the outcome be the same? So that's what I'm asking. So we're going to trial this in a scientific manner. Uh, we're going to take baseline photos. So, sorry, I'm just going to stop that. That's how easy it is. And like I said, it just feels like warmth on your, on your skin. That's all it feels like. There's no prickly bits. There's no bleeding. Um, there's no, I mean, there's so many positives in the fact that it is safe, absolutely safe. It's comfortable, it's convenient, it's hygienic. Uh, and it can be shared, um, unlike you know, skin needling, uh, unlike glycolic acid peels where you have um, a danger of skin burns. 
So, like I said, um, how I'm going to do the study is this. We're going to actually trial myself before and after photos, uh, measuring, for example, um, nasolabial folds, uh, wrinkles around the eye area. We're going to trial, trial this on someone in their um, coming towards their 30s. We're going to trial someone, someone in their um, late 40s. And we're going to trial on someone who's in approaching um, 70s, so in the mid 60s. We're going to see the before and afters. It's going to take me a few months before we see the before and afters, but um, that's how we're going to trial it. Okay, we're going to ask for passion satisfaction rate, but most importantly, before and after to see whether it works. And um, you'll read more on how I, how I'll do this study because I've got to exclude all the other things, so they can't have anything like fillers or Botox or chemical peels or lasers or anything. So it's got to be a one device, one device only. And I'm going to actually extend this, not at the recommended uh, four week, but I think uh, we're going to get better results at the um, six week mark. So that's what we're going to do. In the meantime, um, before I show you the trial subjects, of which you've seen one, um, <laughs> I am going to take you on a quick tour on how we use or how I use um, LL LEDs, low level laser emission devices or LEDs in our practice as a dermatologist because we, uh, the machines and devices we use uh, cost a lot more than this. Um, some of them are cosmetic and some of them are medical. So we have to have, um, you know, absolutely uh, in, in Australia, TGA cleared, um, but also we have to have energy levels. And one thing about this company, it doesn't show the energy levels, nor does it tell the energy levels. Uh, it just gives you approximate wavelengths, which are, like I said, dual wavelengths. So hang tight and I'll show you how we incorporate um, a very similar device in what we do day in, day out, and all the devices we use that use the same technology. Stay tuned. The following videos are nearly 10 years old. In the past, we used to use Omnilux and a red light system made by Galderma, known as Actolite. These systems were extremely unreliable in the sense that they used to break down after every two to three years. They now they've been replaced with newer systems, as you'll see shortly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to review is not actual a medical device. It's called a hydrofacial. So it's an infusion device, but it's got reds and blues. So this um, is a very simple device to use. Basically, if you're using reds, we hit this and we've got red LEDs which come up. Now, because this is non-medical, we do not have um, any, apart from the wavelength, which is red, which I presume will be in the 600 nanometer spectrum, we don't have the actual power delivery. So red can be used for rejuvenation uh, and reduce inflammation. And if we use blues, the blue can actually treat acne because we know that um, P. acne is sensitive to blue, but it's also got a uh, spectrum in the red. So we're gonna move on very quickly because we're gonna to go to our medical systems. Okay, so this is Claresca. Um, this has replaced the old Omnilux Blue. So this basically uses two spectrums. So two spectrums of blue light. Uh, we can use it in different modes, the rejuve mode or the therapeutic mode. So the great thing with this is that number one, we're using two spectrums of blue light. So it kills acne. Um, and also has a special secret squirrel rejuvenation wavelength, which the company doesn't tell us. Um, the output, however, is super strong. Um, we can actually increase, so you can see with the banks how strong they are, and we'll actually increase it to even stronger. And we can activate all the banks over here. So this is used for medical grade um, acne uh, treatment so you're looking at probably around forty thousand dollars worth of leds here compared to the seven thousand from the home use device so guys uh let's move on to another device which we have just over here and this is called the heel light by lutronic uh lutronic has got a very good reputation for building one of the best uh devices including infinity once again, no conflict of interest. Um, this machine we actually bought, and um, this one was, I think, around fifty to sixty thousand dollars. So, what does fifty, sixty thousand dollars of LEDs give you? Gives you this. Gives you the wavelength. So we can start off with the eight thirty, which is the uh, healing wavelength or rejuve wavelength. But we can also swap the wavelength to six thirty three, which we use to treat uh, cancer or precancerous cells by activating ALA. Um, 
so we can increase the intensity but most importantly what do we have here we have a calibrated um, reading which is basically the joules and that's very important when we're doing medical treatments because we need to actually uh, look at the joules so we in the past we, the guideline has been 37 joules per centimeter squared which is usually delivered over seven minutes 31 seconds using the old-fashioned actolite made by galderma but uh, with this system it covers a lot more and you can see the banks of LEDs. So the big question is that we know these systems work. These are all TGA, FDA, CE proven devices. Um, so they've passed rigorous testing and um, they're medical grade systems. And we know they work, but the big question is how well would the home use device compare to um, these devices there like that and this one here so only time will tell and um yeah stay tuned so this is some of our systems that we use i won't go through the whole lot but these are just some of the led systems that we use so guys i hope you like that um quick review on low level emission devices like i said new face is to come but i really got to get this out of the way first um i can't do many clinical trials or studies and at the same time so I'll let you know how this goes over the next um, couple of months, right? We're going to see the befores and the afters, uh, patient satisfaction rate and, and all of that. So once again, guys, thanks very much for watching this video. Um, I do one video, as you guys know, once a week. So if you like, like it, please comment on the section below. Like I said, this is an unpaid channel. It's, um, yeah, nothing for it. It's uh, no conflict of interest. So please like, share, subscribe, chime your thoughts, um, and by all means, please, um, like I said, subscribe because this channel is going places and I really appreciate it. So I'll see you same time, same place next week. Bye.